All right, let's take a look at reading a file in Java with the scanner class. I already did a video on using the buffered reader. Scanner is uh, kind of the newer, fancier way of doing this. So let's check it out. Um, my goal, I have this file, file score.txt, score has a number in it. My whole goal is I just want to read this number and print it out here. Yeah, whoopee. Um, <laughs> so <clears throat> how am I going to do this? Well, oh, first thing to notice, score.txt is my project root. It's not in the source folder. It's not anywhere else. If I wanted to reference a different file, I could do, put in, say, like an absolute path here. Uh, you know, users, something like this. Um, if I was on Windows, that'd be an absolute path. Or I could alternatively um, have some other relative path like that, kind of Unix-like. Anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to use that. So first things first, I'm going to take, well, let's see. I'm going to set up try catch because we know um, that <clears throat> reading files always has the possibility of raising exceptions. <clears throat> I'm going to take the sort of default strategy of just having a default va value. Um, <clears throat> that'll be the result of this block of code or if there's enough uh, method that's and the values be returned. Uh, that's what I return. <clears throat> that is, I'm just going to return zero, or this block of code is going to basically result in zero if an exception happens. Look up here at my imports now. <clears throat> so we have a few things we need to use file, scanner, and oh, don't need that and a couple of different exceptions. I'll lump them together that way. Hey. So, <clears throat> first things first, we're going to open the file. Then we're gonna read the number from the file. Fantastic. So how do we read the file? Oh, let's declare some variables first. So file, uh, let's call it core file. I'll declare it here and I'll my reader here, which is a scanner. <clears throat> Great. Now let's open the file. Okay, store file, it's new file. Fantastic. I'll give it the file name. Great. So this doesn't actually open the file, this just creates sort of a handle for the file. So, file, th this file class, you can use it to create files that don't exist and other things like that, or check if. Um, a file exists or something like that so it doesn't really do anything when you pass the string in. Now when I make a new scanner, now I'll get the spread squiggly line over here. Oh, unhandled exception, file not found exception. Ooh. So scanner has to take a file uh, because it, it, it could take multiple Sources. So if you get a file, it knows to look on your on your file system. If you give it a string, then it's going to just start doing its scanning stuff on the string. So depending on the source you give it, it'll kind of read from different locations. So that's why we give it a file. But there's a possibility the file's not found. So that's what we're going to put in our catch block. So we have a file not found exception. Great. Let's put that in here. And because I just want to sort of default to a score of zero, which is, the score is already set to that, I'm just going to print out a message. So let's print this out. Um, I'll, also just, I'll just say not found. This printf, we have to include this. All right, so that covers that. Now we need to read the file, which is really easy. We just need to reader and next int. Great, so it's, unlike the buffered reader, we can just read the contents um, wherever our sort of cursor is in the, in the file itself. So it just starts at the beginning of the file and says, okay, just start reading characters until we find something that doesn't look like an int. 
So if you look at the file, it's just going to take both the four and two characters out and <clears throat> uh, and then leave the new line, actually. Then it will convert that into an integer. Store it and score. Fantastic. What does not say here is, well, if you look up in the documentation, it will list, well, if there's problems such as the file um, is empty or does or if the next thing in the file doesn't, is not an int, it will raise an exception. And that will be a no such element exception, which I have to look up. Um, so let's just print out a message for this. And we'll say, uh, let's say, does not contain an integer. Fantastic. So this looks good. I save this. Oh, typo. Print. Tricky print function. All right, there we go. <clears throat> now printf. Fantastic. So if I come up here and run it, I'm done. Hey, 42. What do you know? Got the answer I was looking for. Now let's just test how it works if I mess things up. So if I, oh, if I change this to some crazy file name that doesn't exist and run it, let's see what happens. Hey, um, cannot find symbol. Oh, typo. Aha. Uh -huh. I got a little crazy and all that. Let's try this again. That file's not found. Surprise. Okay. So that's what happens there. It tried to <clears throat> run line 19. That file didn't exist. <clears throat> so it raises a file not found exception. It stops, this try block stops right here. It jumps down. Oh, look at this. Here's the catcher file not found. So it runs simply this line of code. Then it skips all the way to the end and prints out uh, the score, which is zero, because it defaulted out. Wonderful. Just as I wanted. Um, now let's go over into the score file. Now if I take this and just mess this up, and come back and I run this, let's see what happens. Oh, it does not connect. Oh, I should have made my message a little nicer here. Try that again. Hey, score.txt does not contain an integer. Imagine that. Uh, and again, you see, <clears throat> because now this line, oh, oops, because this line, line 22, when it tries to get int, there is no int. It throws a no such element exception. It'll skip um, this case, the, this catch right here, file not found exception. Come instead down the line 28. Hey, we match this one. Now it will um, <clears throat> match this case and print out this message, which it did. Fantastic. Now that that's done, it will come down here and print out the default score, which is zero. Fantastic. And again, if I go back, if I fix this, and I come back and run it, look, it works. And, um, that's that. So um, that is using a scanner to read a number from a file in Java. Fantastic.